everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. A strong storm that swept through parts of the valley last night left its mark. Baseball size hail rocked Rio Hondo. Channel 5 Steven Sadavia joins us with more with reaction from residents. Folks tell us it wasn't till the morning until they were able to get a good look at the damages. Some found it was more than they originally thought. Last night's storm hit folks hard. Fell the, you know, hell hitting the roof. And it was pounding real hard. Gilberto Santana was relaxing with his family when the storm hit. He started watching TV, and all of a sudden, lights turned off. He was able to assess the damages today. He hit the roof, hit all the vehicles around. His plants also took a beating. He wasn't alone in Rio Hondo. His neighbors also dealing with dents and broken windshields. Three police units also took a hit. It developed real quick, and uh, so we had a limited amount of time to react. The Rio Hondo area had reports of hail roughly two to three inches in diameter, and that's about the size of this plastic baseball. And the National Weather Service says it's this size which can cause some serious damages, especially with the roof. Something Santana is trying to check for himself. We haven't had time to talk to nobody. With his age, he says he'll have to wait until his grandsons come to help. For now, he's focused on his cars. Santana tells us he's glad he has insurance in case damages are severe. The police tell us they also have insurance on their vehicles, and right now the cost of that damage is unknown. In Rio Hondo, Steven Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 6. And a note to Steven's report, if you received damage from last night's hailstorm and are waiting on insurance adjusters, here are a couple of things that you can do beforehand to make that process go smoothly. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. According to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, you should record all damages using a camera. Also have that list of items damaged ready for insurance adjusters. This information, along with Stephen's report, will be posted on our website, krgv.com, after the newscast.